Come on, come on. It's ball players. Come on, come on. It's ball players. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my first scratch tutorial. Um, well, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to code on Scratch. So, to, there being a series of games called survival games. Well, mo well mostly just on Roblox. There, there are games that are like Granny. So, I'm going to teach you how to make a 2D version of those games on Scratch. So, I've got my little kitty cat here. Sorry, K Cat, but you'll have to go. Sorry, I feel really bad for you. So I've gotten all my sprites into the backpack. And well, let's I'll show you I'll show you through the scripts. So So I Well, this is basically just the intro. Um of the game so that's you don't really need to know that but here's the scary ghost lady who will be chasing you in the game and the start button which really doesn't um ma I'm just gonna get the sprites that I need be for uh, I start teaching going through their scripts so I'm gonna get there I'm gonna get the locker I'm gonna get the green key room these are all the sets for my upcoming game so it just starts like that in the game and then I add my a little um protagonist should I say to the game what is he that did that probably be implemented so I got in the 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 man sprite now I think we're ready so here's ghosty and then we have our weird looking man here's what your game is supposed to look like uh, when you're done yeah, and there's that lady with a bat who's chasing us. So I got, so that door is locked. So I need to get the key. Click the key. See, it, this is just a little preview for my upcoming game. And Ghost Lady is still um, chasing us. It looks like or she's just stuck or is that her clone these are questions that should be answered so first I'll go through the script of our man so 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 first we have here we have here and the way that this script works is that it uses scrolling I use the scrolling engine from um, Draw Law Kid. Um, you can search him up on Scratch too. So, so what's causing the game to work is is that this script is for his like animations. You can add it. You don't have to add animations, but it definitely will make the game look way nicer. And this is the script that makes all the stuff move. And I, and this is the script that can tell you, that tells if you have the green key and if the door will unlock or not. So, let's go through the script on how um, these work. So, basically, um, um, they set their x to the scroll x variable and 
that's basically it, and they hide at the beginning of the game, which really doesn't matter. The same for all these sprites, except I put a different number for each of the parts of the house. And the key. It, ha it uses senses, so when this sprite is clicked, if it is touching our little player dude here, um, it will hide and it, it will say that our key is, will be, will be held, so that means we can go through the door, so, and, so the, at the start of the game it says hold, uh, holding green key equals zero, so. That's about all for that. And it's the same for all the pieces of the house so far. And, um, 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 well, that's just about it. I also had some creepy text. Um, um, it says you will never leave. Um, I um, um, this is not um a reference to Baldi's Basics that weird like picture where all the red words say that, but I just put that there just to sound horror, horror-y, whatever that means. And here's the scream face picture. And I will add on to this game, and that's just about it. And I will see, and so I think that'll do it for this episode, and I will see you, um, next time?